taken by the Alliance, except they had a group that helped them, which was called Ashtar Command. And once they had isolated the U.S. from the underground tunnels coming in from Canada and Mexico and off off continent through the Maglos and the Atlantic and the Pacific, that group, which had locked down 22% of the U.S. dumps, turned on the Alliance. Um, locked them down and started human trafficking again through them. So now the you'll be likely seeing, and I've already seen some in Nevada and also in uh, Oklahoma, where they're in the Ridgecrest system again, where the alliance is having to retake those dumps. Mm. Yep, I said it before. Satan's angels can't come down pretending to be on God's side. But these boys right here, the Ashtar Command, they're exposed as fallen angels. These are falling angels. And what they'll do, they'll come down, they'll pretend that they're the heroes and all that stuff like that. But they're exposed. And one thing that's being done right now in the domes, they're, they're blending animal and human DNA to make hybrids. They're going to bring out all these hybrids that they're going to call species and alien races. And they're going to say... These guys are from other planets and all that stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's going to be a big old lie to try to go against the Bible. But these boys, no one's going into outer space with rockets and all that because there's a firmament up there. There's a solid firmament keeping them in. And so there ain't no aliens from deep outer space. Above the firmament is heaven. Right above, right above the firmament is an ocean of water. And right above that is heaven. So God is near. He ain't billions of miles away. He's near. And everything under that, heavens one and two, the open sky, the open firmament, that's the blue sky. And then the firmament where the sun, moon, and the stars are, that's where these boys are, these fallen angels. You know what I mean? There ain't no aliens and all this and that with flesh alien type of things like what they're going to come out and say. It's all from underground that they've been blending animal and human DNA, making all these hybrids. And they're going to bring them out and say that these are aliens from faraway planets and galaxies and all that crap. When all the things that they're calling planets and galaxies are right there inside the firmament with the sun, moon, and stars. And that's where the fallen angels are. And they're going to come down pretending to be alien saviors or come down pretending to be angels from heaven on God's side. And they're not. They're fallen. And they come down also pretending to be dead saints so they can fool people like that and and with the false religions that they're making when the bible says you're not supposed to be worshiping dead saints the only one you're supposed to worship is jesus christ and god you worship god through jesus christ you don't have to pray to any dead saints or anything like that your relatives and your ancestors when they die they go to heaven or they go to hell they're not roaming around on the planet those are demons. Demons can shape shift and they can come back pretending to be your relatives or they could come back pretending to be angels of light like these guys, the Ashtar command. But they are exposed once and for all. So don't fall for this strong delusion because they can make all these UFO crafts and all this stuff. They can do that with Project Blue, 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 uh, Project Blue Beam laser technology. They can make all these images up in the sky. Where you think it's aliens invading or giant or giant Jesus coming and all this and this. That's all can be done with the Project Blue Beam technology and also Voice to Skull technology. Where they can broadcast a sound that will show up inside your mind without your ears actually hearing it. So don't fall for it. And I'm leaving my errors in when I mispronounce stuff just for last. Alright, God bless you and have a great time.